Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am sharing with you some packages I received with bank notes in them today for just for the fun of it. I got these notes because they're either new or because I intend to put them in a future video and I thought you might see them. My first one actually comes from somebody I don't even rem I don't even know, but apparently uh, I think it's somebody in the States that is sending me something based on something that I thought I was buying from Thailand. So here I am. I'm going to open up that note and, or open up this post and see what I have coming. So, Isn't that sad when you purchase something and you don't even quite remember what it was to? So here it is. I got it open and it seems to be packaged pretty nice. I uh, taped it both ends. So I'll use my trusty little letter opener here to help me out and hopefully I haven't killed any bank notes and luckily I didn't what I do like about this company and I believe it's noteshobby.com is they always ship it with the notes in a holder taped to a rigid plastic Oh, insert something that's designed to keep the letter from getting bent. And so I have to say I kind of like that. I've never gotten a bent banknote from them. I have gotten a bent banknote from some, and one of them one of them was so insulting and patronizing that I've set aside <laughs> the document that I received just so I could share it with you guys to see if you all thought the same thing or if I was just being too sensitive. Nevertheless, let's see what I got. I got my um, small and my large holders here ready to holder these notes. Ooh, I got a coupon, so that'll be good. And it looks like my first note is a 100 Biza from Oman. I like to slide my notes into these holders just as soon as I get them. And I always center them to the left, or, you know, I always uh, put them as far to the left as I can so that I can uh, put my sticker with information right over here. But yeah. Here's one of the new 100 Bises of Oman. Very nice. Very nice. And the next note, I think, will fit in a smaller holder, too. It looks to be a one-something or other. Let's see where it's from. Oh, a lovely note. Flag. Three-dimensional. I, I love that circle effect on the ink there. This one looks to be a cotter. And there's the there's the Pearl Monument right over there. Lovely note from Cotter. Hmm. When I was younger and less knowledgeable, I thought that was pronounced Qatar. <laughs> As in guitar. But you know, being from Oklahoma, people shouldn't uh begrudge me my pronunciation. As a state, we do have twenty eight native languages, and then we have several dialects of English as well as several um, foreign languages that are prominently spoken in the state, predominant of which is Spanish. So we got lots of opportunities for mispronunciation in the state of Oklahoma. This looks to me to be a, a half real from Oman. And of course I like it because I love the wildlife on these notes. If this note would have been around, it would have been in my big cat's note uh, hobby. Or I'm sorry, my um, my theme. I may have to do a second theme of big cats because since I did that video I've gotten several more notes that would fit into that theme and then it looks like from that firm my last note will not fit comfortably in here and I'm not going to have just enough of it sticking out to cause me problems so let me get one of my big size holders And there we go. And it looks to me like, at first I thought that was a high-speed train, but it looks to be like it's some sort of complex, a military complex. And I'm going to get, yep, it's an O-Man again. Love their, love their new notes. Their new family of notes is really beautiful. I may have to get some of the higher value ones. But there you go. Not a bad assortment of little notes that I got from 
my source in Thailand by way of Kentucky. One, two, three, and four. All right, so let me get rid of this mess and then we'll take a look at the second package. And the second package I got is from my favorite eBay, eBay business uh, here in the States called Yuri. Yuri111 is his eBay store code. And I love when I order from Yuri because I usually get my stuff within two days. And if it's the weekend, he'll fill it on a Friday or Saturday and I usually get it on a Monday or Tuesday. The only thing was this time uh, holiday in the U.S. was on Sunday, so Monday the post did not run, so. so that was a bit disappointing for me. But let's see what I got from him. Good stuff, I'm sure. And he always ships his notes really nice, too. Nice and wrapped, and what he wraps them in, I like because it's a... It's a printout of what you ordered <laughs> from eBay. So I can peruse I can peruse the mailing and see, make sure that I got all that stuff checked later. And then the inside envelope is a flat rate envelope cut down to size. These are free from the U.S. Post Office, so I think it's sheer genius on Yuri's part. <laughs> and then I just peel the end off and I can pull out my holder full of bank notes and my notes from Yuri always fit into small or large size notes so let's pull them out and see what I got here that I can show you okay so for my first note from Yuri looks like it's a smaller denomination Manat from Azerbaijan and I don't know why but I love these notes they're they're beautiful they're very graphical they're well designed and I love I love banknotes that have instruments. Um, there's a treble clef, a guitar of some sort. There's another stringed instrument there, and then maps and windows on this side. Very nice. I always think of the euro when I see some of those Azerbaijani notes. And then the next note I have looks to me like it's from Denmark. I have a lovely little Denmark note with sparrows, and so I was excited to get this one. This is a 10 Kronen. And it's from that beautiful series. Beautiful, just a beautiful series of notes. And on the back, it has a nice little duck. And I guess it's a duck that they get the down from. So this is an eider, or an eider down, the source of eider down, which is very popular for ski clothes here in the United States. Nice and toasty. And I guess it works for the ducks, so it probably would work for humans as well. The next note I'm very excited to get. I love these notes, and this is no exception. This is from the Faroe Islands. And uh, you'll see why I fell in love with it in just a moment. It's not from the current series. It is from, I believe, the one that just immediately predates it. This is a 10 kroner. They're, they have a relationship with uh, Denmark. So they, they have a design and a color similarity. Greens, you can see. But um, they like to use simple uh, designs on their notes. And while I haven't decided if this is just a sandy beach or a scene in snow, it's a beautiful note in its simplicity. I like coins that don't have a lot of legends that clutter up the design, and there's like no words on this one to clutter it up at all. I'm just going to have to do my research and figure out if that's snow, if that's sand, or what. But then I'll be doing a lovely video on this note. Very pleased with these little notes from um, the Faroe Islands. Ooh, the next note comes from a place near and dear to my heart. And it makes me sad what's going on right there. I certainly hope that they're going to be okay, but... This is a 50 Afghanis, and it's from the time of the king, who was overthrown while he was in Italy. I think it was for a health visit, but he was overthrown by his cousin. And ultimately, it didn't work out for Afghanistan because the Russians came in, and the Taliban, and Civil War, and all the warlords fighting. But on this note, we have a lovely, lovely green version of... Uh, 
Muhammad Zahir Shah. And on the back, we have a lovely image of, I, I'm not sure. I always thought it was a palace, but um, I'll have to do a double check on it. It's a beautiful night note, and I think at this point I have three or four of the notes in that series, and I may be to the point where it's going to cost me a bunch of money to get the ones I don't have. But, ooh, I'm so glad I have that one. This next note <laughs> is from uh, Scotland, and I am only... I don't typically like to spend as much money on the notes that Scottish notes require, but I wanted to get this note because it reminds me of my favorite movie series. I have lots of individual movies I love, and then there's like, you know, series movies where they have three or four movies in a series, and in this case, Harry Potter. And what I love about this note, maybe you can see it, is when I turn it over on the back, we have... We have that lovely Glen Finnan viaduct on the back. And you may remember the beginning of some of the um, Harry Potter movies where the train to Hogwarts is actually driving over this very viaduct. So on its way to Hogwarts. So I got that one because I thought, you know what? Maybe I can get um, some subscriptions from people that are Harry Potter fans. <laughs> Or maybe that will be the least popular of any video I've ever shot. Uh, I spent a little bit more money than I like to spend on a banknote. But this banknote has the new um, ruler of um, Oman. You know, the previous leader died. And so this relative is now the leader. And he doesn't appear on the lower denomination notes. And so this is the lowest denomination note I could get that has the image of the new leader of Oman. And like his relative, he has that splendid white beard and mustache. And I wish mine looked as good, or I'd probably keep it. <laughs> but it's a lovely note, of course, as uh, Omani banknotes tend to be nowadays. Graphic masterpieces. The next note I bought is from um, Brunei. And uh, I, let me just make sure I got the right size holder for it. I got this note because, you know, Malaysia, or I'm sorry, Singapore and Brunei have a financial treaty where their money is interchangeable um, in either country. So you can go to Singapore and spend your Brunei ringgits, or you can go to Brunei and spend your um, Singaporean uh, dollars. Maybe these are both dollars. I don't know. I get confused because I think... I think depending on what nation even Malaya calls their or Malaysia calls theirs ringgits or dollars. But um I could be completely wrong on that. But I wanted to get this note because this design is a banknote design that was released in both nations. And it's a, it celebrates the currency um interchangeability agreement of two thousand seven between Singapore and Brunei Jerusalem. So there is a similar Singaporean note um, with a Singapore face and then a, a common back design. So that sounds like it would be a good um, video for you guys as well. All right, I have a vertically oriented Azerbaijan Manat. You saw the previous one and now here's a new one. I think this is the most current one. And so it follows a lot of the same themes as the previous note, but uh, the orientation's different. There's still a map on one side, and on the other side, there's still the musical stringed instruments and sheet music. And there's your grain clef, or your. Um, you have your bass clef, and you have your treble clef. So there's your treble clef there. And then, of course, there's the grand clef here in the music in the background that has both of them. Lovely note. I have a friend who's really good on the piano. Maybe I can get him to play those notes for you. Me? No, I'm not a... I know enough on a piano to cause damage, but that's about it. <laughs> this note is from Costa Rica, and it's a note that I enjoy having because it shows native art. It is a 5,000 colones. And, oh yeah, it does fit. For a second there, I thought I was going to have to get a bigger one just because this wouldn't fit lengthwise. 
But here you go, lovely 5,000 colonies. And it's a previous series. And what I like about it is it has wildlife and artifacts of the nation. I specifically like all those circle stones that they find. And there's a lovely toucan at the top of the note. So this will be a nice note to fit in several different themes. And the next note I have is from Botswana. And I don't know if I have this note or not. So who knows? It may be a future giveaway. But I got it because... I like to have all the people that are on the notes of a country, and I don't think I have this gentleman. I think I have notes with every other uh, leader or every other honored citizen, but I don't know that I have this one yet. But I do now for sure, and if I already have one, well, you know, I have two. It's a polymer note. There's a prancing zebra, or a zebra rampant, I believe is what it's called, and government building. This building makes me think of a school I used to work at. And I believe the final note I have to show you is from Bangladesh. Bless Bangladesh. They, uh, this is a varnish note. You can kind of see the reflectivity on the note. It's because after it was printed, they coated it with a varnish to try to enhance the um, durability and sturdiness of the note. So maybe it'll last a while longer. But I love how Bangladesh is trying to do things themselves. They um, issue commemorative brain notes about as regularly as um, Scotland. But they're not nearly as well designed yet. Their standard issue notes are nicely engraved. But for some reason, I'm not seeing a similar care taken with the uh, commemorative notes. But it could just be it's in its infancy. Beautiful mosque there on the back. And there you go. When I add these notes to the few I got from Notes Hobby, I have quite a variety of notes that I try to keep in my pipeline so that I can continue to make really nice content for you folks. Now, um, those of you who subscribe may notice that I have more than 130 videos at this point, And I wanted to tell you guys that just this morning, I got my 404th subscriber. Yay! I got a subscriber. 404. And I'm well on my way towards 1,000. And honestly, I think I'm doing a little bit better than I thought I would approximately a year and a half ago when I started this journey. Please recommend my uh, channel to your uh, family. And if any of you guys are related to a teacher, please share with teachers, you know, my, um, my channel name so that... Uh, we can get up to that thousand and <laughs> I can build up my, my subscriptions. I am Benjamin. This has been Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.